Hi there. Hey, this is 30 at 6 John. And uh, today what we're going to be going over is uh, how to reload 9mm for beginners and new shooters and new people to reloading. As we all know, the, the great ammo shortage of 2020 is extending into 2021. A lot of people have taken up reloading. Uh, they're new to it, not familiar with it. And this video will show everyone... Uh, how to do it safely and uh, get some ammo in there uh, for their firearms. One of the first things everyone needs is a good reloading manual. This here is uh, two good examples. This is the Hornady 10th edition hand loading manual. Came out a couple of years ago. A lot of good information in here. This other one is the Spear number 15 reloading manual. This came out maybe two years ago. In it, both have sections on the basics of how to reload and issues in that for everyone to be uh, careful about. Good information in here. So in the Hornady manual, they do have a section here reloading step by step. Then also they do have a section on safety, which is very important. The first main piece of equipment everyone needs for reloading is a reloading press. This right here is a Lee single stage press. I've used this before in the past in some of my other videos. Um, it is slow. It is a single stage press. What I'm going to be using today though is a turret press. I've used this before like it because um, all the dies are set in one uh, tool head. And uh, I could change calibers very fast on it. It's like a single stage press, but all the dies uh, are in a tool head. And that every time you do one function, it, it automatically steps to the next function. Saves a lot of time. For uh, throwing the powder for every cartridge, I am going to be using this Lee powder thrower. And also I have this Lyman press right here to weigh powder. So we'll be using that also. Uh, one of the first things you also need is a set of reloading dies. We're using the Lee Deluxe Pistol die set for 9mm Luger. Other equipment that we need is a caliper to measure uh, the overall length of your cartridge. And other things very comes in very handy. Bullet tray is very useful. If you want to clean out the primer pockets after you decap, remove the primer, you can use a small primer cleaning tool. We're using just range pickup brass for reloading. A lot of times you want to tumble it and clean it up, get all the grime off it. Uh, I'm using a, a Turbo 1200 vibrating tumbler. Uh, you turn it on, fill it up with corn cob media, put your brass in there, and just uh, cleans it up. If you've never seen one, it works pretty good. Just fill it up with corn cob media, put your brass in, and it, uh, let it sit there for about, a, about an hour, gets it pretty clean. For media, you could buy regular media that they sell. I just use from a pet store this um, bird and small pet pet litter just made of small uh, small corn cob ground up corn cob media works pretty good. After done tumbling all of your brass in here you have to separate it from the media. I have this this uh, you can buy this tray right here. Just put this over a bucket. Pour your media and brass in here, and all the media falls through. Just stir it up and pick out your brass. So for co components today, we're going to be using the Alliant Unique Gunpowder. This is a versatile gunpowder, pretty flexible. Uh, I've used it before 9mm, works good. 
9 millimeter Luger uses small pistol primers. Here's two examples, CCI small pistol primers, and also federal small pistol primers. I just show this because it shows the box size difference, just the way the federal and CCI packages their primers are uh, both have a hundred primers in them. They're just different types of packaging. For bullets, we're going to be using the Berries 124 grain plated lead bullet. These work pretty good. Just so you know, the a nine millimeter uses 0.356 diameter bullets, not 0.357 as a 357 or 38 special uses. Our load today is coming from the Hornady Reloading Manual. We'll just go to 9mm Luger. If you look here, the 9mm Luger is also called the 9x19 and the 9mm Parabellum. Same cartridge. We are using 124 grain bullets. Uh, we're using unique powder. So our load today, we don't want to do a max load. So our load today is going to be 4.7 grains of unique powder. Now the setting up the reloading dies, the Lee reloading die set here has an instruction manual that comes with it. <clears throat> if you open it up, it'll show you how to set up all of the reloading dies. Um, so if you have, have any questions there, you can always reference back to this. Now in setting up the press in the first die, uh, first off you need the correct shell holder, which we have here. The shell holder is what the case actually slides into. Uh, the second thing, you have to find the decapping die. This is the one that has the pin sticking out of the bottom about a quarter of an inch. And you screw this in until it's just sticking down a little bit when you run up your die it should just kiss the the bottom of the uh of the die all right let's do one i'll take a brass slide it into the shell holder like that run it right up you see it being sized the primer falls out falls out in the bottom here it's good to put a little bucket a garbage can to collect all the falling out primers come back down and uh, you have one you have one brass here you see the primers removed you can look you can see right through there there's some primers out on the uh, table here uh, make, so it's important to keep oil and grease away from the primer it'll deactivate it this is the top of the primer this is what goes inside the case first so that when you look at it that should be the bottom of the case right there you should see that end when it's seated in so let's do that you just get a primer you put it inside the uh, priming arm like that it goes down and you seat the primer. If you're not familiar with filling it, how it seats, it's good to pull it out and fill it. The primer should be just below flush. You can just fill it just below flush of the case. Real important there not to have uh, accidents and firing. Make sure that primer is just below flush. Now the next die you need to adjust is the flaring die. Uh, this die expands the top of the case just a little bit <clears throat> so you can seat the bullet. Uh, you, you don't have to flare too much. You just want to get a little bit just so you can seat the bullet in. So the Lee instruction shows how to do that you just basically screw in this die here until it just touches the case and give it maybe half a turn
when you look at the at the case you could just tell that's flare just a little bit you don't have to overdo it just a little bit so you can see the bullet in there now our next stage is putting powder into the case and uh, let's do that now so what we're going to do is adjust the lee powder thrower using the powder scale here we're going to adjust it so we get the charge that we want so that all we have to do is throw it this way and it'll come out with the uh, correct charge so first thing we need to do is pour powder into the powder thrower pouring some powder in fill up about halfway so what we're doing here to adjust this powder thrower is a little bit of trial and error there's a little rod right here that you screw in let me move the camera over a little bit yeah this little rod right here you screw in so when you throw the powder then you weigh it so right now and you just go by trial by error you just grab the cup throw a powder charge and weigh it that's 5.6 we're looking for 4.7 and you just keep doing this you pour the powder back into the top of the powder thrower then you screw this back in a little bit you screw that in a little bit it has a lock nut right here so you get the charge that you want it takes trial and error once you get it though it's set let's try it again oh that's, that's three point eight it's a little bit low now like i said it, it is trial and error let's keep doing it here until we get get it correct all right, it looks like I got the right powder charge, 4.7 grains of powder. But what I also do is do it two or three times to make sure it's consistent. So after we get the powder thrower all set up, throw in the correct amount of powder, we take the primed case, stick it here underneath the powder tube, throw a charge of powder. Okay, once you got powder in the case, stick it back on the shell holder. Grab a bullet, put it on top of the case. Now what you want to do is this is your adjust your the seating depth of the bullet. So when you start this, we're looking for 1.1 five inches so you take your caliper take take your caliper and measure it and still looks too long now i've already preset this die but you adjust you keep adjusting this here until you get the right seating depth so you don't want to go too deep but because uh, you just want to be able to keep adjusting this down once you get it right measure it with a the caliper there a little bit too long yet take it's right so once we have the bullet seated to correct length go out to the crimping die when you first set this up you want to remove the bullet and per the instructions that you should read from the lead die you want to adjust this just so the bottom of the die touches the shell holder let me zoom in so i'm adjusting this die until it just touches the shell holder then tighten the lock ring on then tighten the lock ring okay all right so per the instructions once it's the uh crimping die is just just touching the shell holder you put the loaded round in 
then you screw this out then screw it back in until it just touches the cartridge back out a little bit give it about half a turn got your crimp you load it around there looks pretty good let's do this process over again take a case put in the shell holder make sure the decapping pins is the correct position D prime resize per primer in the priming arm seat it make sure it's make sure it's flush Flare it. Take it out and put some powder in it. Put the case back on the shell holder. Put a bowl on top of it. Seat it. Rotate over to the crimping position. Check it out. Looks good. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy reloading and being able to shoot your firearms. Everyone, please stay safe. Follow the safety instructions in the reloading manuals. If you like this type of uh, content, please hit subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, that's all I have for right now. Um, thanks, everyone, and uh, have a nice day.